Good morning. It is Monday, November 1st, 2021. I'm back here for Daily Shakeup number 416. And today we're talking about open door policies. Here's my question. Many of you have worked in the workforce for many years, maybe even many decades. And here's the question. Have you ever had a leader say that they have a closed door policy? My guess is you've had many leaders or at least positional leaders say, I have an open door policy. And perhaps some leaders said nothing about it in which now you're left to make assumptions about whether it's an open door policy or a closed door policy. But here's what I wanna to emphasize today. The thing about open door policies is it has nothing to do with the door. It's about the person behind the door. Are they really open? Are they ready to listen? Are they ready to authentically listen? Are they ready to be vulnerable and fully open to whatever it is you have to share? My guess is oftentimes the answer is no. As I've heard, heard so many people tell me, such and such leader or manager says, I have an open door policy, but they have one of two problems, if not both. One is they're never there. So the open door doesn't really help. Or a version of that is the door is actually closed most of the time and you have to insert yourself into their space, which is a risk. Now, that's on you to take the risk. But when a leader or manager says, I have an open door policy, that means the door needs to be figuratively and literally open. The other challenge is, as I said, the door might be open, but that person, that leader, that manager is not really open to listening, seeking to understand. They're not really listening. They're not open to a different perspective. See, open is not about the door. It's about mind, heart, soul, and maybe even spirit. So frankly, if you're a leader or manager, don't talk about an open door policy. Model it, not with the door being physically open, which is a good start, but demonstrate your openness by the ways you listen, the way you're fully present, the way you ask questions. Because when you ask people great questions, they feel seen and heard. So let's, I guess this is the message of today. Let's get rid of the open door policy message or sign or whatever it is. And instead, let's start practicing open leadership policy because that's what's going to change cultures. That's what's going to invite people into being a part of, to engaging, to trusting, to influencing, to following. So if you really want to be an open door leader, open your own door. And I'm not talking about the office door. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you. By all means, stay connected.